you guys it's megan happy weekend i have been filming up a storm and i just finished i still have to put some things away but i was like oh crap i haven't started my vlog and it's like 2 p.m yes it is 2 p.m um which is really rare for me usually i take you guys while i'm getting breakfast but i wasn't feeling very well this morning i still kind of feel like my throat's a little scratchy and i feel like i sound a little congested but hopefully it's just I don't know what but i hope i'm not sick or anything because that would be a huge bummer um but anyway i feel better now after like well i've been talking non-stop so maybe that didn't help my throat but um anyway i'm feeling more energetic at least after my coffee and everything so yeah i don't even know what to say because i feel like i've just been talk 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 talking but i had a another crazy work week so this weekend is much needed and much appreciated so i'm just kind of trying to do all my favorite things which is definitely filming is one of them and my mom and sister are doing like a decluttering organization project so we're gonna go to goodwill and the recycling center <laughs> in a little bit which i always love of course i'll bring you guys along for the weekend and if you love vlogs make sure you're subscribed because i do them every single saturday and i just love hanging out with you guys so i really appreciate you being here you guys i'm so excited because i finally get to announce that I am doing an exclusive bundle with Patchology and this will be a limited time only offer for you guys and this is like the most thrilling thing I've ever been able to do <laughs> with my YouTube channel and I have you guys to thank for it. So this will be my Meg's Must Haves exclusive bundle and so you're getting three of my favorite Patchology products at a really really great discount. So you'll get one of the Best Foot Forward foot masks which is my mom's absolute favorite product in the world I'm pretty sure and this this is just a really great way to relax at the end of the day and just like hydrate your feet and it's just such a great like treat yourself thing. Then you get a four pack of the Serve Chilled Rosé sheet masks which quickly became my favorite Patchology sheet masks after trying them when they first came out and they're so hydrating. Definitely the most hydrating sheet mask I've ever tried and I have tried so many sheet masks and they also smell like strawberries which is super fun and then the breakout box which is such a staple in my routine they basically have different types of pimple patches so you get like different sheets of these pimple patches and little ziploc bags to store them which is so brilliant and these have saved me so many times when pimples have just popped up out of nowhere and it's just so small and compact it comes with tons so it'll last you a long time and it's just so handy to have so this will be on the patchology site for a limited time and it will show up as $60 on their website but when you use my affiliate code Meg's Makeup 8 it will save you $15 so you get all three products for $45 which is a 25% savings and they pretty much only do 25% off at Black Friday. So this is a really great way to try three of my absolute favorite Patchology products that I think truly anyone would enjoy and I'm just so so excited about this so appreciative and I definitely wanted to tell you guys as soon as it was confirmed so thank you so so much it is live on the site right now and I'll have that link down below as the first link in my description box and if you purchase a set thank you so much and I hope you love these products as much as I do. As I said, mom and Rachel are doing some organization today and mm -hmm. we picked these home edit books up last weekend from Target. They were a really good price. So the first one that I wanted to get was this workbook because it's basically like you fill out, do you want to hold it like Vanna White? <laughs> um, you like fill out different 
stuff and what like you like about the room and what like problem areas are and all that good stuff but then we also got their like first book mm -hmm. and I think this one is the most helpful yeah cuz and I would especially say like it's like rainbow colored like mm -hmm. the first two chapters are probably the best because it talks about getting rid of stuff which is our mm -hmm. thing yeah the rest of it is mostly like inspirational photos yeah. of like what you could do with your spaces but we liked the one thing that they said is that you should try to keep your house 80 20 which means 80 percent full 20 percent empty which is something ours that we, is 120 <laughs> we struggle with <laughs> and i think that's good to like keep in mind like when we look at our spaces it's mm -hmm. like wow that's like overflowing of stuff yeah and it like it does like stress us out and like give it gives us anxiety <laughs> absolutely um, and like another good tip that i thought that they had especially for people like you who like shop more mm -hmm. is like when you shop like as you're buying it think of like do i have somewhere to put this thing mm -hmm. like not just like I want, I want it because it. mm -hmm. it's like let's say like you bought a new shirt but you're like oh i don't have a hanger for and i'm it. already shoving things and you're in. already shoving things in so it's yeah. like maybe you don't need it or if you get yeah. it like think of what you could get rid of to then mm -hmm. make the space for it which i thought was good advice yeah and one of the things i did like is like they say like to start small and work mm -hmm. your way up so they're like start with just like one drawer in your house like they recommend like a junk drawer to like, i want to go all the way yeah <laughs> But it can be overwhelming. Yeah. Like I think for me and mom and our dad as well, like it can be overwhelming. They're not like to me. Do that much all at once. <laughs> I'm like, okay, let's do the entire basement, <laughs> and it's like no. <laughs> and then it like discourages exactly. you from continuing. Because then it can discourage you because you're like, I can't do this. Mm -hmm. Like, and then you just but you give can. up. Yeah, but like if you start small and work mm -hmm. your way up, because they're like try like a closet or not even a closet, like a drawer a closet maybe then like a kitchen or something yeah. it's like a bigger project um i, I think you guys advice. were kind of already doing that without knowing it yeah. like you would do a specific drawer or area mm. and today they're working on mom's areas in her room that get piled up so mm -hmm. i'm so proud of them okay. and <laughs> Yeah, and I love that 80-20. Like, that is what yeah, my mom also said really stuck with her the most. Yeah, that, like, stuck out the most. Because, like, like, we don't live by that. No, <laughs> is there a picture of, like, a closet in there? Because that is what helped I mean, me visualize have a lot it. Of so it's like you don't want it jam packed. Like, you want room to breathe, basically. Yeah. And, oh like, my gosh, these nice closets closet. are, like, mansions. Well, like, you can see, like, I feel like for ours, yeah. like, all the hangers are smushed together. Yeah. Like, there's space in between. And, like, the shoes are only one, like, by itself, not, like, stacked up. Like, I have to stack up my yeah. shoes. And there's, like, space in between mm -hmm. the shoes. Like, we don't have wow. that. We don't have, like, empty space. Because yeah. I think that's, like, a thing. Like, an art is, like, negative space. Mm. And I think that's kind Interior of a thing design. in your house as well. Mm -hmm. Like, you want empty space. <laughs> Because then you can I appreciate do. what's there. I do. <laughs> so anyway, those are just some things that we've learned so far. And we're definitely not like trying to be as aesthetic as them. Yeah. But just like the edit part, I think, is the main yeah. thing that we've taken away. That's our main thing. Because like another thing that they talk about is like they like to have stuff like rainbow color yeah. organized. Which I do think works in some scenarios. Mm -hmm. But it's like we're more utility based yeah. like i can say in my closet i have all my like short shirts. sleeve shirts yeah. together all my long sleeve shirts together all my That's dresses better. together and so then i mm -hmm. can look for it in that spot i know like, that works better for me i want all my red stuff like i don't know i yeah. just don't think by color i think by type so yeah. just find what works for you mm -hmm. and like most of us don't live our whole lives on Instagram. Like we don't post pictures of our house on Instagram. Yeah. So I think just do what works for you. Even if you do post your house on Instagram, mm -hmm. like. Cause then it normalizes it. Yeah, <laughs> everything doesn't have to be picture perfect. Mm -hmm. But yeah, we're really trying to reduce like our imagine stuff. imagine if your thing looked like that. Like no. Your bathroom stuff. No, it does not. <laughs> like, I also don't like that they take everything out of the containers. Oh, yeah. Like, only some stuff I do that with. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they talk about, like, decanting stuff. Yeah. I did, like, I don't remember if it was in this book or another one. I was reading, like, the kitchen section. Because mm. they were talking about, like, decanting a little bit. And they were, like, 
only decant if you think that would work with your yeah. lifestyle because it mm -mm. is like to me i feel like the benefit is kind of like then it's like reusable but you still have to buy the plastic packaging in the first place like if there was a way you could take it to the mm -hmm. store and they would like fill it up I know. maybe but like for cereal or something yeah like know. cereal or something Ooh, that's actually something that i wanted to bring up that i forgot about until now another thing that i liked in one of these sections was about like the pantry mm. and what i liked because basically they were saying like you want to have like categories of stuff because then it makes it easy for people to like put oh, stuff in it yeah so they have like different like because they want you to label stuff but i think of these as more like categories mm -hmm. so they were like first start with general categories whoa whoa, whoa. yeah, yeah. Okay. first start with like the general categories and then work your way to specific mm -hmm. so they were like if you take everything out of your pantry first just do like breakfast lunch sweets snacks mm -hmm. before you get into the specifics because yeah. basically their example was like if you have a breakfast like bin mm -hmm. and then you have like cereals oatmeal in there like whatever stuff like your family uses for breakfast mm -hmm. um and like you notice that you have like a lot of oatmeal for whatever yeah. reason. Like you have like 10 things of oatmeal or something. Uh -huh. Then they're like, then that can be mm. its own category. But for like our family, we don't have much breakfast stuff. So it could mm. all go together. Yeah. Like cereal, oatmeal, breakfast bars, whatever. Mm -hmm. So I that thought was that was tip. smart that like instead of getting these granular categories <laughs> that then you feel like you can't get out of. Mm. And then because they were basically saying then when you buy something new at the store, if you don't know where to put it, that's where you just shove it in somewhere. And that's we our problem. That. <laughs> or it's like, we don't know where to put it, so just get mm -hmm. shoved. Mm -hmm. So that's why they were like, start with the general categories, which that's I thought was idea. smart. And if you're building a house or you're renovating your kitchen, don't put in deep, like, cabinets mm -hmm. unless they're drawers. Just trust us. <laughs> like, slide out shelves or drawers are the way yeah. to go. Like, we added on a pantry and I want to redo our one pantry to fix it to be like this. And it has, it's like a pantry, but then the drawers slide out or the shelves slide mm -hmm. out. And it's so much better because then we utilize all that space. Because mm -hmm. in our one that it doesn't have the slide out stuff. You can only use the lost. very front. Yeah, because if we put anything in the back, we never get it mm -hmm. again mm -hmm. until we never. clear it out and then it's expired. expired. So. Mm -hmm. so that would be my tip. And if I'm fortunate enough to be super rich one day, all my cabinets will be drawers. <laughs> Mark my words. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Literally just gasped. That's why wow. I knew I had to film you. <laughs> Well, first of all, Chanel, jeez. <laughs> Ooh, I didn't know how this would Ooh, come. Ooh, Chanel number five bath soap. Yeah. Ooh, that's oh. way cooler looking than I thought it was going to be. Because you love, like, fancy soap. I do love fancy soap. <laughs> Ooh, this is cool. And you don't have to use it or you can use it. Doesn't matter. Because it's a gift. <laughs> You're talking to us for proof of use. No. I can't even open it up. I don't want to ruin it. Oh, here we go. <laughs> mm, it's so pretty. Ooh. Oh, oh my gosh, look. Even this is like <laughs> Chanel. Oh yeah, very like, mmm, that smells like a rich lady. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. And this is not. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can't wait for you to open that too. So are these samples? Or yeah, they're like skincare samples. Wow, Hydra Beauty Camellia Repair Mask mm. and Le Lift Creme. Ooh, nice. <laughs> this is like limited edition. Oh, wow. Well, I will open this up because when you showed me yours the other day, I was like so mind cool. blown. Seriously, twist that. Oh, twist it. Twist it like oh, that, yeah. <laughs> Isn't that cool? And it has like the Chanel logo on the top. And you can put it in your purse or you don't have to. Mmm, very pretty. That's cool. And so it's the number five low, which is like a more modern version. Mmm, that's pretty. <laughs>
And number five was your first perfume, it right? It was, yes. My first fancy perfume. Mm -hmm. Before that, it was the drugstore Gina Tay or Bonnie Bell had perfume, Ooh, too. I miss Bonnie Bell. <laughs> Enjoy! I forgot to show this in my what I got for my birthday video, but I bought this Harry Potter Vera Bradley blanket that I just love. And it's so soft and cozy. And I'm gonna keep reading Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. I've read quite a bit of it, but it's still barely halfway. Um, so this is just a really long, long book. We're not even at Hogwarts yet. <laughs> And uh, it's quite, I've read quite a bit, but I love this blanket so much. It has like the different little symbols, like his glasses. It has the time turner down here. It's kind of cool to look at it because there's like hidden stuff. There's the chocolate frog box and the, I know there's the key. Oh yeah, the flying key from I think the second movie. So it's just, oh, the snitch is down there. So it's just a really pretty blanket and I love it. Look at the pretty scarf. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, darling. Here's Dorney Park at night. We're going to the recycling center. <laughs> Woo! Our favorite. Yeah, it really is though. <laughs> Ooh, shake your booty like. <laughs> BTS Butters on the radio! Woo! Rock with me, baby! <laughs> Could you show me this talk is cheap? Side step right left to my beat. Get it? Let it move. Hey guys, it's Sunday morning now. I just finished getting ready. And if you notice, the lighting is so much better from here on out my settings on my camera were like the aperture or whatever was like making everything darker so the vi i filmed three videos yesterday and i didn't know why the lighting was so bad um and i figured it out after finishing filming of course um but i feel like this looks so much better and i'm loving my makeup today and i used my new byredo palette the corporate colors so these are the gorgeous shades and i used all of them except for that greenish color i'm just so impressed with the formula of these eyeshadows like Byredo, I know them for perfume, but I just was so curious about this palette and I'm really, really impressed with the quality, which it should be really good quality because it's very expensive. Um, but anyway, love my eyeshadow, my blush, and I didn't even put highlighter on, but I have a nice sheen. Um, is just my Clinique um, Heather Pop. This is one of my favorite go-to blushes. And I just did like concealer all over, focusing it mostly like under my eyes and on my cheeks, but then just blending it all over. So it's very like thin and you can definitely still see my skin through it. But that's been my trick lately because I was dealing with a lot of breakouts like around where I wear a mask and then also on my cheeks and I'm like devastated because I think it was these buxom blushes. The blush that I love so much, Seychelles, because this is a highly fragranced blush like coconut. And I don't know, I stopped using this cold turkey and all my breakouts on my cheeks went away. So I kind of want to see if I use it again, if it happens again, but I also don't want to F up my face. So <laughs> I'm a little conflicted, but yeah. So I just did concealer all over. So it's really nice and light and very just like natural. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So um, it's like 9 30 9 um and i'm gonna go get coffee and maybe breakfast sandwiches so 
yeah and my hair is doing a pretty good job for it being second day hair so knock on wood i'm also trying to get a little braver about layering fragrances because now i have so many perfumes and i pretty much always just wear one at a time um but i've just been trying to experiment a little more so i recently got the kayali citrus 08 perfume which i would actually say is more like a rose fragrance and it smells like something that I've smelled before um but I first put this one on and then I was like okay it's pretty like rosy and I didn't want it really I didn't really want to wear a rose fragrance so I layered it with the Marc Jacobs Intense or Daisy Intense and this one is so beautiful off the top with like strawberry and really like fruity notes but then when it dries down it's a lot deeper with the oak moss so i thought especially as it dries down having a little of the rose i think would be really pretty and i think that the kayali also has oak moss in the base so that is my little combo for now yesterday during my mom and sister's cleaning spree we unearthed these pictures that i drew in 2002 so i was 10 and this is marvelous megan and look at my hair clips my nails are painted to coordinate with my outfit i have like a skirt and boots on and i just think that's so cute and then this is rockin rachel and she has so many teeth i don't know why <laughs> but those were like our portraits and then this one is like a little scary um but this one is rich girl and there's like money <laughs> flying all over <laughs> so i especially love marvelous megan and rock and rachel and just the way they restored their like folding up on the sides but we're definitely gonna save these because they're just so cute I switched in to my new Vera Bradley plaid purse, which is so not me, I would say, but I really, really love it. It's just so cute and happy, and I really love this bag just in general, even if you didn't get like this colorway, because it has like a nice zipper pocket on the front. It also has a slip pocket on the front, and then um, there's nothing on the back, but it has this like secret compartment here that's perfect for your phone. So even if this is zippered, you can still access this. So, so I think that's just brilliant. I love that it has a zipper that goes all the way across. And then it has so many little side compartments. Like I'm not even using all of them. Um, but I have like my hand sanitizer, my wallet, my lip products in here. This down here is my license. I need to, like my temporary license, I need to get my photo taken for my license license. And then my keys and that's it. And then I just have been like throwing my vlogging camera in there. But it's just, but it's just so easy. It's like way bigger than the purses I normally carry. And I just like how it's all soft. Like, I don't know. It's just kind of like a comforting type of bag. It seems like something like that would have been passed down, <laughs> not just like that I bought it <laughs> brand new. But I really, really do like this bag. And so I'm going to wear this today. I had no idea it was raining this much. And of course I'm wearing flip flops. So, this is gonna be interesting. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. Oh my gosh, and my makeup is like, I got water in my eyes. I am literally soaking, I am dripping. It was not raining this much at home. Well, good thing I didn't wash my hair because it's wet now anyway. Oh my god, my legs are soaking wet. I had to walk so slow because I'm in my flip-flops. And I'm so clumsy. I definitely would have fallen. Um, holy crap. Our drinks are covered with rain. But, yeah. And now I'm going to Panera to pick up breakfast. But their 
like parking lot is way closer like the spots are way closer to the door so oh my god I feel like it doesn't look as bad as it feels like I am literally soaking soaking wet if you can believe it it got worse in the past two minutes oh my god you guys literally look at me look at my bag I'm drenched and there's like windows where people are eating at and they were just like watching me because I'm the only crazy person that got out of their car during this oh my god my feet my legs are so <laughs> In happy news, I'm almost dried off and I just got home and it's not monsooning here. So I don't even know if my parents know what I went through. But <laughs> this song, if you have not listened to it yet, you have to. It is such a jam. It's Glass Animals, Heat Waves. And I saw this band in concert four-ish years ago and they were fantastic i would love to see them again and this song is such a freaking awesome jam so check this out i haven't listened to the rest of that album but you might have heard this on the radio and it is gold we're at uncle dan's 80th birthday party and they have like um flavored seltzers so i got the blue raspberry it's pretty good it's very sweet <laughs> How's the cherry limeade, mom? Good. Good. And then Rach got the iced tea tangerine. How's that? It tastes like so many different things. I don't know if I like it yet or not. <laughs> it's, I think it's one of those things you have to keep drinking yeah. and you'll like it more and more. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's like, oh yeah, iced tea. I just, That's cool. I know. I mostly taste tangerine. Mm -hmm. right? Okay. We're at this awesome like pavilion. It's huge. Way bigger than our pavilion. <laughs> This is like the treasure trove. Oh yes, I want to try this one. Summer ice. And then, did you want another one? No. You tried this. That's the same thing. Oh wait, what's this? <gasps> Let's try these, both of them, and compare. This one's definitely better. The Smirnoff, Seltzer, Black, White, and Berry. Or wait, Red, White, and Blurry. Berry. <laughs> Maybe I've had too much. <laughs> I like it way better than the summer ice, so this one wins. Wait, show my face when there's a gunshot. No, you can't. I can't see. It's a go back lift. Okay, it's better. No, what did I do? You're like, yeah, that. Because there's like a gun club around. So I'm like, I love that Uncle Dan Sash says, holy shit, you're 80. That's so amazing. <laughs> Very sanitary. <laughs> oh, we are back. We've been back for a few hours, but I've just been relaxing. That was so much socialization <laughs> compared to what we've had to do for a year and a half so it was very fun but wiped me out for sure so now i'm sitting down to do some editing before dinner my bed is covered in laundry <laughs> i hate putting my clothes away it's probably my least favorite chore and i have to dump it all on my bed or i will not put it away and it's just horrible i hate it so much <laughs> And going back to that 80-20 rule that we talked about with the home edit, like, my drawers are 100% full. So it's, like, really annoying to put clothes away because they don't, like, have breathing room. So it's just stressful every single week, every single time. And I just absolutely hate it. So I'm putting it off um, until the last minute, probably until right before bed, which is not a good habit, but that's what I tend to do. <laughs> so yeah, if I could like get rid of one chore, it would be putting away my clothes. I just hate it so much. <laughs> Dad's making a 50-50 martini for his 60th birthday weekend or week. Are you gonna try a different drink every day? Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
So we have the ice ready to go. Woo! So it's one and a half. Oh my God. Gin. <laughs> That's one and a half gin. Okay. One and a half dry vermouth. I feel like you're gonna need to add like a flavor. That's what the olive's for. <laughs> okay. And then my, I think you need two. And mom got the real martini olives. So, bon appetit. Let's get your <laughs> reaction. <laughs> oh, the stir. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Cheers. Cheers, happy birthday. Ah, uh, Martini. <laughs> Look, you guys. <sighs> oh! <laughs> my alarm is going off to take my medicine right at that exact moment. So my bed is completely clear of all the clothes. I just put everything away, and I didn't even cheat. Like, sometimes I put some stuff on my chair, but I didn't. I didn't do it tonight, so very very proud of myself and it makes me just ready for the work week i feel like i look like one of those people in like paranormal activity like i don't know my face is like glowing anyway i wanted to chat with you guys before i log off of this vlog or <laughs> wrap this vlog up um because i was just like scrolling on my phone and that's what i pretty much always do like to end the night and I really want to kick that habit like I pretty much start my day and finish my day by scrolling on Instagram or watching YouTube videos or playing games on my phone and I would love to know like how you guys wind down at the end of the night do you read do you journal do you watch tv like I have never been really a person that like watches tv in bed like to end the night um and I definitely don't sleep with tv on like I have to be in utter silence <laughs> to fall asleep or white noise that's also my favorite I love reading but I just don't do it like right before bed I don't know why um I just haven't gotten into that habit I guess and I definitely could um but I'm definitely a phone scroller before I go to bed and I know I need to cut down on my screen time because all I do at work is <laughs> work on the computer for eight hours plus a day and then I look at my phone so much like in my downtime so I really want to just get better about like limiting that at the end of the night especially because I feel like it does just like lead to more screen time and like keeps me up a little later than I probably would normally stay up um, because I'm like oh my god I want to keep looking at this like it's so addictive it's so bad that's why I haven't given myself over to TikTok yet because I just know it's designed to be like endlessly using the app and um like that's how they get you <laughs> and that's how they stay successful but yeah anyway I would love to know if you have like a wind down routine like do you Put your phone in a different room and after you do your skincare or whatever you like don't use screens or something like doing that like thinking about it literally makes me feel like I can't be without my phone like I use my phone as an alarm so I wouldn't necessarily want to put it in a different room anyway but that might be the only way that I could be away from it like I just can't even imagine honestly um but yeah let us know your tips if you have any or if you've weaned yourself off of scrolling at night let us know how that went because it's an addiction for sure so yeah that is is my final thoughts for this vlog but I hope you guys enjoyed seeing all the random things that I got up to this weekend it felt like a really busy weekend especially today and I didn't even vlog when we were at my grandma's house and 
It's just so much socialization. I'm not used to it. I'm such an introvert. Like, I've learned that more and more as I got older. But especially, like, with the like last year not having to do social activities, I loved that aspect of being in lockdown and quarantine. Like I didn't miss social activities pretty much at all, but having them from time to time is always nice. But today was a little bit much for my introverted self. But anyhow, I am just babbling now, so I'm gonna head to bed and start another work week. So I hope you guys are all having a great day and a great weekend, and I'll see you very soon. Bye!